Hello, my Aries. Welcome back. All right, so you know the deal. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. Um, if it doesn't, then what can we do? <laughs> if you would like to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. Okay? Now what I'm going to do today, I'm going to first get some general messages from the universe, see what they just they want to say to the Aries. And then I'm going to take a peek into the person that you're dealing with, romantic or not. Only you will know, you know, if this is a lover, a brother, a schoolmate. I mean, who knows? Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I was hearing alumni all of a sudden. But anyway, um, yeah, what they want to say to you and what you want to say to them back. It's Mercury retrograde, so I thought that might be kind of interesting. Um, miscommunication afoot. I do see some confusion here, though, in the pre-shuffle. I, I'm, I'm, it's almost like, I don't know if it's you confused or it's the person that you're dealing with, but I'm seeing that there is definitely a love or someone that makes you happy. There's a lot of, like, glowing around a specific person for you. But it's almost like this connection could be bogged down by confusion or having too much going on. I'm just seeing like a lot of stuff um, in the way, you know? It's almost like clutter. I don't know if this is literal or what. But I see a lot of communication coming in, so I guess we'll see what... I guess we shall see, all right? Okay, but that, that is, that's what I was getting. It's a little incomplete, but. All right, universe, what are the messages that you have for Aries, please? Messages for Aries. What messages do you have for Aries, please? Okay. A lot of people, some of you might be traveling soon. I know that's kind of right now with everything going on, but. I do see uh, travel anyway. This is probably predictive two months from now, perhaps. Um, a lot of people are getting this energy of, because there's endings and needing to step back and reflect. And I feel like it's saying this yet, yet again. I mean, I've had this card in so many of the readings and, but it's, it's kind of a, as humanity as a whole, with all the planets in retrograde and what's going on in the world, the universe is really asking us, I think, to step back and look at things, look at the dark side and light side. Your equation, this is significant. Your equation, what you want to be, what you want to create in this world. Because I see that There's a path that you could have been on for a while now. And there's something that you need to, there's, it's not that the, that the path is incorrect, but there's something you need to see. It's like a, either an idea, this could have to do with more research, you might have to do some more research here. But yeah, they're asking you to, especially if you've had similar results in something that you've been working on. Again, your journey, whatever this means to you. So if this is a relationship or um, a career, can it kind of feels more like career-ish or like life goal, life path. If there's a stagnancy, The same result they're asking you to step back and, and figure out why you may need a new marketing strategy you may need to realize that something isn't working anymore maybe it did at one time but times are changing here I'm seeing that the world is changing well we, we can all see that I guess right um, okay but there is success for you here in something
Yeah, I see you being successful at what it is, whatever it is you were doing, but I'm sensing like um, someone's actions created heartbreak or this will happen. But I think they want you to focus on your path. Like, again, taking a step back, this is significant. You're going to have to ponder on this. This might come into play. But it's almost like um, if you are heartbroken, it's time to reflect deeper. There is victory for you here in seeing the truth of what it is, regardless of whose ego it hurts theirs, yours, whatever. It's something that you need to see because it will lead you to success. So that is a little bit cryptic, but I think that's how they want to do it for you. I'm, I'm feeling like I need to leave it there in regards to your advice. All right. Um, so let's get on to the person that you're dealing with. Universe, show me who Aries is dealing with. What does this person want to say to Aries, please? Um, my hands feel shaky. I don't know why. I feel kind of quivery. You could possibly, this is random, this won't apply to everybody, but you could possibly be dealing with somebody that um, has <clears throat> some sort of um, adrenaline or like sugar. It could be you, something about sugar, either hypoglycemic or potentially like diabetic. I don't know. I'm just sensing that all of a sudden this could be relevant. Somebody's, somebody may be having too much sugar. Maybe it's you, Aries. I, I'm not sure this won't apply to everybody, but I'm feeling strange all of a sudden. It could be somebody close to you as well. So, um, all right. Um, sorry, refocusing back in now. <laughs> Show me, what does this person that Aries is dealing with, what do they want to say to Aries, please? What do they want to say to Aries? They feel very passionate about communicating with you, but then when they, but they, it's almost like they either get stuck or they're kind of like, well, it's like, cause they're probably very interested in you. A lot of creative energy in this individual as well, the way they communicate. Um, I would say it's kind of like an eccentric style. I would say that you like communicating with this person too, but it, I'm feeling like they're sort of like fired up to message you, but then they're at a crossroads like, uh, I don't know if I should say that. But they, whoever this is, you could be dealing with another fire sign or perhaps a water sign here. Um, I think that they think that you're focusing on your happiness. I, I think they also... They may feel like you're kind of turning a cold shoulder or not listening to their emotions. But this person cares a lot about you here. I see they just see the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So um, if they're not a water sign, then they just feel they have a lot of unconditional love for you. But there's something about the spiritual aspect of this connection that's like lopsided. But it's strange because I sense love and happiness here. Um, they might think that you're a little bit stubborn. Because again, you're kind of focusing on your son. Some of you, it might actually be a son, but I mean more like the son, the happiness, your... I don't know. I'm sensing a lot of pride here as well. I'm not really sure what you're... Because I feel like you're... I don't know if you're just tough love with this individual or they did something that irritated you, but I'm feeling like they want to try to connect with you. But this connection somehow lies on its side here. I'm hearing um, spiritual awakening. I don't know if this is for, like an actual spiritual experience that maybe, but seeing something all of a sudden, I don't, 
I don't know, this energy is a little bit strange, but they do. Because <laughs> it's it looks good, but I'm sensing, like, why do you have your back to them, Aries? What, what is... For some of you, there could be two people here. I'm seeing somebody, this King of Wands is focusing on the High Priestess. And then the Queen of Cups is trying to offer the King of Wands something. So there could be someone that feels unattainable. It's almost like, you know, um, one person's chasing this person and then another person is chasing them. Um, but then no one's chasing the last person or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but there is, I don't know. They like you, definitely. You are a wish for them, this person. All right. Um, what does Aries want to say to the person they're dealing with? Ooh, yeah. See, three of pentacles reversed. Okay, so mm, this could be somebody that you friend zone from time to time. I'm sensing. And it came out like this. So I'm feeling like they, maybe they did say something to you to make you, I don't think you've necessarily gone away permanently, but I, I just feel like whatever they said or they did, I feel like it was verbal, just made you sort of turn your shoulder to them. Like, I don't want to hear anymore. So right now you're not really trying to put a lot of effort into this, but but there's this sense of stuck. There's this sense of waiting. Okay, what does Aries want to say to this person they're dealing with? Oh. Um, you might be a little bit conflicted on what it is you kind of, you want here. This could have to do... I think you want to be successful and you want to be respected. With the Six of Wands here, um, I'm just sensing like, in regards to the public eye and yourself, you want to be successful and you you value that highly you're taking on sort of a i'm doing me type of energy like you're going after your wish fulfillment i see some of you you know having drinks here indulging a little bit yeah it's it seems very your energy is very strong in what it is you want but there could be some conflict in regards to this maybe it's with this other person because they they want you to put more work into this but you're like i am working on me that's what i'm sort of feeling because i see happiness i see potential here i do see love especially on their side but i'm i'm seeing a little bit different of an energy what is this nine of cups for aries why is why is this here Yeah, you may have, you may be a busy person and you may have a lot of people that want to interact with you, friendships, alliances, business partner potentials, or whatever it is that you do. I just see you kind of really focusing on um, creating that what you got going on type of thing. And I think that maybe this person might feel a little bit left out by you because um, because you're busy or something like that. I don't think that you want to move forward without them, but I think that it's like you're coming across more of interested in them like friendship wise and for this moment, you know, it's like your priorities are sort of just elsewhere I'm feeling like and this person is like very gung-ho in you know however this resonates for you guys but I mean but I do see love um 
And I think things in August season will kind of be more positive in general for you. I'm seeing that here. Because you are going to get what you want, especially in regards to what you're doing for yourself. So, yeah, um, that's what I have for you. I think I'm going to leave it there because it's sort of just, it is what it is, you know? All right. Bye-bye.